We stay in Cardiff for our next loft visit. This is the fantastic Stereo Brothers who have won first Open National. Good afternoon, Gary. How are you, Keith? Not too bad, mate. How long have you been in the sport? Well, me and my brother have been flying about 12 years now. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Uh, first first on National. Then we was uh, second first on National. I think we topped the section about 30 times. Brilliant racing. How far is Thursday for you? About four, four, four sixty, I think. Yeah. Do you like long distance racing best? Yeah. Much better than the sprints. Yeah. Get true performances. What system do you race your old birds on, then, Gary? Play all wood wood. Do you race hens at all? Last year we tried two hens. We clocked one on the night out of Thursday. Yeah. Just show your hens on. Every, nights. every race they go to, they see the end. Yeah. How about, how about on a return from a race? They, they have about an hour to every race. Yeah. What do you feed them? Boss Molen, TLX. Yeah. Do you break down? Every Saturday when they come home, three days. Yeah. How about training them? If they're not coming, we train them, give them the odd toss. Otherwise, if they're coming okay, we just leave them do their own thing. Yeah. Do they race right through the longest old bird race? They race right through. Yeah. First race to last race. This is the scene inside Gary's Widowhood section. How many nest boxes in this section in Gary? Uh, 27 in this section. Yeah, look, looks nice and light and airy. It's uh, 30 foot long. You 27 boxes in it. So you, you prefer, obviously, you prefer just one section for all your cocks? Well, we used to have three and we couldn't get them into form. These all come into form different times and we didn't couldn't get the team going properly. So we've altered it this year just to get the one section and so they come into form together. This is a nice blue pigeon. What's this one, Gary? This is my blue cock today. And he got seven first sections, uh, 11 firsts, 16 seconds, and best pigeon we ever owned, up to 300 pigeon. mile. Yeah. Was he another Woodward cock? He was always on the Woodward. What family is he? He a Jansen Van den Bosch pigeon. Beautiful tight pigeon, isn't he? He's a very good sprinter. Well, at middle distance, up to 300 mile, he couldn't stop him. He raced very well for us. He's now in the stock loft? Yes, he's put the stock now. Is he bringing you winners? He bred us a section winner this year. How many babies you breed each year then, Gary? We breed about 70 babies. Yeah, do you race them right through? And we race them, the cocks up to the uh, Carlisle and the ends right the way through. Yeah. We race the ends and the, on the cocks. Two weeks before the first race, we pat them, we sex them, and we have them 10 minutes before the race on a Friday they go together, like a wood wood. Yeah, and so we so find they race very well then. Yeah, so do you, um, do you let them pair up eventually? They don't pair up. We pair, they pair up before racing and then they parted, so they go on like a wood wood then. Yeah. We don't force force them to pair up. Yeah, what do you feed your babies on? They're fed the same corn as the wood wood cocks. Yeah, how about training your babies? They train every single day, no matter what the weather, they all go to the same place. They never miss the toss, about 20 miles every day of the week, rain or shine. You've got a wonderful setup here, Gary. Yeah, the loft on, loft on the bottom is the young bird loft. There's a 8x4 on the back for the dark system. All the rest is done on the light, natural. And then, as we come round, the woodwood ends in the corner. And then the next section then is the woodwood cocks. Are they self-built, your lofts? Yeah, we built them ourselves and we alter them every year to see if we can improve their performance. Yeah, of course you like the open door trapping. Yeah, we always trap for open door, we lose too much time through speed traps. Mm, so it's wonderful there, because you've got a nice big open door there, you can really shoot in there, them cocks. Yeah, it's ten, ten foot uh, wide, the door. This nice blue cock, Gary, what's this one? This is Jack, the first on national winner. He was uh, first first on national. Yeah, what strain is he? He's a Catrice pigeon. Yeah, beautiful cock. What system was he raced on when he won on, the national? On the Woodward. Yeah, has he won anything else? He got uh, ten first prizes. He topped the section about seven times over 300 miles. Brilliant pigeon, mate. Is he now in the stock loft? He's in the stock loft now. Is he bringing winners? Well, he bred uh, seven first on national, and we give it to charity when we moved out. Is the son of him. That's the only ones we've raced out of him. Good afternoon, David. Good afternoon, Keith. You already have a member then of the yeah. partnership. Can you tell us one or two things about your darkness system with the babies? We put them on a dark, 
Darkness system in February. And two weeks before the first race, we put me in with the Ever Youngins. They were Macklet. Yeah. But they done well on the short ones. When it comes to the long ones, they just fell apart on us. Yeah. Are they supposed to be quite good for long distance races with the Darkness system? Well, so I heard. <laughs> Did they win anything? Yeah, they done well on the short distance races. Yeah, so um, are you going to continue to do it? Yeah, but try something different at different dates, like yeah. for the long ones. Because you don't pair them up, do you, you fly them on celibate? Yeah. This is a shot inside the young birds sections. But being November, this is all the hens. These lofts are lovely and big, light and airy. The pigeons look really, really well. It's a nice pigeon, Gary. What's this one? Uh, this one is uh, the spot cock. He's the uh, second Grand National Furzel. He topped the section four times in the same year from sprint races. So we put him to the, the, the big race and uh, he just got pipped at the post. Oh, that's bad luck. What firm is he? He's a gentleman and a boss pigeon as well. Fantastic pigeon again. And he's in the stock loft now? put the stock now. He's uh, getting on a bit. So he, he couldn't do no more than what he already done, so we put him to stock then when we moved house. What families of pigeons you keep then, David? Uh, Jansen, Van den Bosch and Van Loons. Yeah, where do they originate from? Uh, Morrison Shears of Belgium and Kenny Dalton of Barry. Yeah, do you go out to Belgium a lot? No, they just bought them in the sales, don't you? Yeah. What, what sort of distances are they good at? Up to 350 mile. They sprint really well. Yeah. But they still win nationals at long distance. Well, they have come, yeah. Yeah, brilliant, mate. Absolutely brilliant. This is the brother's fantastic stock loft and Avery, and it's self built. How many stock birds do you keep then, Gary? Keep about uh, 15 to 16 pairs of stock birds. Yeah, when do you pair them up? We pair them up every year on Christmas Day. Yeah. What do you feed them? We feed them the same corn as the Woodward corn, the Woodward pigeons. Yeah, when you go out and buy a pair of stock birds, what do you look for? We never buy off pedigree or we just buy off what we like. When we go to the show, pick him up, handle him. As long as he's got a nice clean throat and he looks okay, we buy by handling, not by pedigree or anything like that. That's what we want. Yeah, how about like, performance wise? Do you go after performance pigeons? Yes, performance pigeons. Not the, for direct stock birds, for their children to breed for the stock birds.